guys uh, this is the second part of the, this course in first part uh, we already talk about some introduction and in this part uh, we are gonna see how to download VirtualBox and how to set up our VM to use uh, Linux operating system so before starting this uh, I just wanted to tell you like uh, this uh, contain two steps like first step is Oracle VirtualBox installation and second is virtual machine installation with Ubuntu OS like first thing first uh, like uh, definitely this question come in mind like why we need a virtual box actually like uh, I wanna give answer uh, with my words this is like not a uh, bookish language okay so the system I am using it is Windows operating system okay so I want to use my Linux operating system to do some hands-on with commands so I want to use some other operating system so that's purpose I need a Oracle virtual box it's helped me to create a VM inside that so I can use another operating system okay so this system act as host machine and that is act as VM machine okay so it's pretty simple so hope you all got it so like first step uh, download or install that uh, Oracle virtual machine it will show you like this icon okay uh, first you go to the virtual machine like Oracle box.org download and when you open that uh, you will found one first link that is uh, this virtual box.org you can go to the side and after going into the side you will found something called uh, windows host so we want our virtual box for uh, windows host so we just click on that after clicking on that uh, you able to download this here i'm not uh, downloading because i already have that software uh, here uh, virtual box and i already installed it so guys uh, you can just click on it uh, double click and you can install it it just pretty simple like VLC you have to click on next 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 and it's automatically do all the work for you and uh, it will open like uh, when you install it it uh, shows a window like this okay I'm not showing you how to install a Oracle virtual box because once you download it pretty simple you have to click just next 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 if you facing some problem while installing you can uh, just comment down I will happy to answer okay nothing like that uh, but I just want to save your time that's why I'm not uh, showing okay so after it you need one ISO file like when we install some windows and all uh, we need ISO file so uh, you need one ISO file okay so you just go on ubuntu.com and download you will find one first link and uh, after that just click on downloads like here we want like not ubuntu server you want ubuntu desktop this is a lts uh it is a iso file it is approx 2.5 um, i think so 2.5 gb file okay so once you click here you are able to download a file like this uh let me show you a uh, file like this your ubuntu like this is a file of like uh, almost 2.5 GB I already download it for saving your time when you download it uh, you don't have to do anything just you have your virtual box you have your ISO file uh, I already set up one VM no need to do anything just go on uh, sorry uh, just go on new okay just give your name here and uh, when you give your name just give anything uh, I want to give uh, ASH WNI my name only okay and uh, just click on next uh, sorry it's already mm, sorry uh, one okay so it will ask you something like how much memory you want to give just keep it at recommended only so nothing issue and that just uh, default option like here it will ask you for the virtual box and disk image dynamic allocated 
after that it will uh, show you the memory like uh, the disk location where it will be gonna download and uh, set files okay after that you have your uh, uh, that vm and now you have to actually do the something uh, important work just go in this select it settings now it is a uh, important task just listen carefully okay just click on generals go to the advanced setting now click on bi-directional and uh, drag and drop bi-directional why this is uh, bi-directional this allow you to drag and drop uh, something like copy paste or some files from your host machine to your vm understand it's quite simple so just go on uh, systems uh, nothing to do here just keep it as default processors okay and uh, it will show you a default value one but uh, you can make it two it's according to your system performance okay my system configuration is good so i just make it two it is recommended here not worried about is uh, green lines and uh, this orange or reddish line okay because uh, this is a recommended line up to this uh, green it is recommended to you okay so nothing to do about it now go to the display we don't have to do anything with this now go to the storage now this is a uh, actually the important thing now go to that uh, mm, file where you have choose that file disk like here open here audio nothing to do anything okay now when you click okay from here it will ask you like it will direct you to the some okay i will show you okay when you click ok and when you click on start like this it will take you to the installation process okay like this now here when you click start simply it will ask you for installation just select your language and click on installation it's a simple process after that it will ask you for erase disk just go with the default options just simple okay nothing to do with that it will take like half an hour time that's why i'm not showing here if you face any problem in like installing you can ask me i will uh, guide you through that okay nothing that now i'm mean gonna cancel it so from next video we're gonna see some basic commands first uh, we do some our basics okay then we go like move forward to the some important like all thing is important but uh, some more commands okay so it, i promise i will like try my hand like best for make this course like as possible as good okay so thank you guys uh, for watching this video thank you for today okay just see you next video